First, click on Custom Size. Take 1500 by 1000 pixels size. Click on the Elements tab, search Jeans. Go to the Photo section. Now we will add a Jeans background image. Rotate it to 90 degrees. Click on More, then set the image as the background. Now we will add our model image. Remove its background. Adjust its size and position. Duplicate the image. Click on Edit, then Duotone. Click on Custom. Now change the highlights color also to black. Next, go to Blur. Choose Whole Image. Set Intensity to 50. Now select Transparency, reduce it to 40. Click on Position, then Layer. Now, align the shadow below the image. Adjust the shadow position. Now add a heading. Type Denim. Go to Font. Choose Anton Font. Change font size to 300 pixels. Rotate the text to 90 degrees. Adjust its position. Make it uppercase. Change its color to white. Now make a duplicate of this text. Overlap on the text. Go to Effect. Add the hollow effect. Set thickness to 10. Go to Layer. Move the text layer below the image. After this, go to Elements. Search Rectangle Frame. Open Frames. We will choose a rounded rectangle frame. Go to Upload and add your product photo. Place it on the frame. Adjust its size and position. Next, set the border to 8 pixels. Change border color to white. Duplicate this frame. Add your other product image. Now, adjust both frames size and position. After this, go to Elements. Add a line. Change both ends of the line to Bullet. Choose line type elbowed. Change line weight to 8 pixels. Change its color to white. Now place it to the right side of the first frame. Adjust its size. Send it to backward. Duplicate and place another on the left side of the second frame. Adjust its size. Send it also to backward. Go to Text, add a subheading. Type your text. We will choose Museo Moderno Medium font. Change its color to white. Change font size to 50 pixels. Adjust its position. Duplicate and add another text. Our product image is ready. Let's zoom in. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments, and I'll see you in the next video.